Once upon a time in a land far from here, there lived two kings who loved each other very much, but longed with all their hearts to be parents. They dreamt of being dads, and of the little prince or princess who would grow up and rule the kingdom alongside them. But because they were two kings, they needed a bit of magic to make their very special dream come true. Calling on alchemists and mages across the land, they tried different spells, potions and charms. Yet even the most powerful enchantments seemed to fail, leaving the kings without a child and all the more broken-hearted. But perhaps fate had a different plan for this royal family's story. And in a moment of inspiration, they decided to start wishing on stars. So every night, the kings closed their eyes, crossed their hearts, and wished on every single star in the sky. And then one remarkable night, their wish was caught by a shooting star that carried it across the heavens. As the wish fell down to earth, it landed in the hands of a beautiful fairy who just so happened to be wishing on the same exact star at the same exact time. This fairy had been wishing for a perfect family for the baby boy growing inside her belly. You see, every so often a very special fairy baby is born without wings and with a very important purpose, keeping magic alive in the world of humans. With such a momentous task at hand, the fairy knew that she would need human parents that she could trust. Indeed, it would require an extraordinary family who would not only love, cherish and protect her baby, but also help him fulfill his magical calling. Meanwhile, the two kings had begun their quest. Following the shooting star's path, the couple travelled across meadows, mountains and rivers, until they eventually approached the edge of a vast, enchanted forest. Trudging into the darkest depths of the woods, the kings chased the star's light that shone brighter and brighter with each step. Rushing into a glade, their boots suddenly halted at the roots of a great oak tree. The only direction left to go was up. Branch by branch, the determined kings climbed higher and higher, growing smaller and smaller, until they reached the treetops where the fairies lived. Guided by the shining trail, at long last, the kings met the fairy, who shared a wish upon the same shooting star, dancing as she spun its twinkle into pixie dust. From the moment she laid eyes on the kings, who had travelled so long and far, the fairy knew that these two men were destined to be daddies for her baby boy. But first, she asked the kings for a sacred oath, a promise that they would love her baby with all their hearts to help him fulfill his magical purpose and to always protect him from harm, especially trolls. But that's a story for another day. The kings not only promised, but declared that they already loved him more than the sun, the moon and every single star in the sky. Hearing these words, the fairy smiled certain that her wish had come true. Only days later, in the twilight hours of the morning, sweet cries echoed around an otherwise silent forest. The moment had finally arrived. A beautiful baby boy had been born, and the little prince took in his first breath. The kings wept tears of joy as they welcomed their son into the world. After years of waiting and wishing, their royal family finally felt complete. Holding the newborn prince close to her heart, the fairy gently kissed his forehead 
and made one more wish. For this very special baby to achieve the great destiny set out before him, while living a lifetime filled with love and happiness. As she placed her baby in the arms of his new dads, the fairy sprinkled pixie dust in his hair, an enchanted powder that can only be made from the sparkle of shooting stars. But this pixie dust was particularly special, as it had been crafted from the very same star and wishes that had brought them together. Sweeping through his fine baby locks, the pixie dust added a magical shimmer to the little prince's hair. With its powers, he could visit the fairy in his dreams whenever he wanted and know that she would always love him, even if they lived in different worlds. Eager to share the news of their son's birth with the kingdom, the time had come to say goodbye. The kings and the fairy shared a long embrace and through tearful farewells, each of them promised that they would surely meet again someday. And so, the royal family began their long journey home. They climbed down from the treetops, branch by branch, growing taller and taller as they reached the roots of the great oak in the glade. Then they marched through the woods and out of the enchanted forest, crossing rivers, mountains and meadows, until they finally arrived home, where the entire kingdom was waiting to celebrate. The townspeople cheered as they welcomed the family's homecoming with banners, songs and even a parade. Everyone was overjoyed with the arrival of their new prince and the happiness he brought to his dads. However, the kings would never forget the fairy or her selfless gift. So to honor her, they decided to keep wishing on stars, hoping she could somehow hear them. And that's exactly what they did. The kings would close their eyes, cross their hearts, and wish on every star in the sky each and every night for the rest of their lives. With these wishes, they thanked the fairy for making them a family, one that would live happily ever after. Because from the day he was born, their son was fulfilling his destiny of keeping magic alive in the world of humans, with a most powerful and timeless kind of enchantment that only flows through unconditional love. A love that grew stronger and stronger in the hearts of his dads with every single heartbeat of each passing day. But this is not the end of their story, merely the start of a new chapter. You see, in less than two years' time, the kings would embark on yet another incredible journey seeking out my ethereal support to grow their family once again through a lot of love and just a spark of magic. But that is also a tale for another time.